Hey guys, okay, I'm feeling a little bit flustered right now, um, but it's because I am shocked. I just saw a video that Pastor Paul Bagley put out yesterday, and he is saying what I've been trying to warn people since September. Uh, I made my first video on Facebook in September, and um, my first one on YouTube in November because nobody on Facebook wanted to listen to me. And now he's saying exactly what I've been saying, and it's really surreal. So I'm going to play the clip that uh, where he talks about it, and then I'll talk to you on the other side. Information that we have received, we feel like we have an obligation to share it with the general public. Um, to some of you, this will become a shock. To others, it'll be exactly what you've been thinking was going to happen. Or you wondered, you were suspicious. Why were all of these different things that's been happening over the last five, six, seven years, why have they been going on? Why is there 850 FEMA camps across America? Why is there thousands of FEMA coffins that were identified in Georgia in an open field? How come the body bags have been shipped to the central part of America? And just what does all this mean? Underground tunnels connecting to different distribution centers. And you've heard the rumors. You've heard the conspiracies. You've heard the news. But now we've got for you tonight from the inside, a source of what's about to come. Tonight, I have a very, very serious situation developing. We have received a letter. Now, this is the third letter from this one individual that we have met and who we know who they, who this person is. But we will remain, this individual will remain completely protected. But the information We've been getting information trickled to us, but this is uh, this is disturbing, and uh, we're going to share it with you tonight. Uh, I have the letter here, and I'd like to read it. Pastor Paul and Heidi, first let me thank you. First, let me thank both of you for your continued prayers. I'm so blessed to have an online family that I can talk to. It is extremely lonely in this environment. Let me apologize for not following up sooner, but things are really starting to speed up. They have placed equipment and storage containers in every region now. The Walmart closings help shadow their activity, and they are pulling resources from every facet within the organization. The B system is now in place for an EMP and nuclear attack. During training, we ask why we are being pulled from the locations outside of the surge support. They responded that everyone will be called up to go door to door, detain or process individuals. We ask after an attack, how would we be notified to report in? And why would they want to get us during a crisis? They laughed and said, you will be notified well in advance of an anticipated lights out situation. Quote, do you really think we are not aware of what's going on and what's going to happen before it does? Unquote. We were told that the military has stockpiles of old vehicles or new retrofitted vehicles that can withstand an EMP or nuclear attack. We were told that businesses has been contracted out to retrieve additional supplies with or without 
the cooperation of the original owners. The Salvation Army will be called in to help distribute food at special locations. And we were told that everyone will either go to a destination or they will be taken to a special location. Someone asked about the rumors of the homeless being taken during hurricane in Houston. The leaders looked at each other and said, quote, provide us with proof of a body. Dark skies was the final phase of our training and preparation. The beast is looking forward to war and the mass amount of people it will eliminate. The system is extremely dark and dangerous. Please continue to pray for us during these very unsettling times. I'm not surprised. I've been wondering why. Why is there 850 FEMA camps across America? Why were there truckloads of FEMA coffins that were recorded and videotaped and are on YouTube right now that were down in a field in Georgia? Why did uh, uh, Mr. Benghazi down in Florida, how could he just stumble upon uh, an entire area filled with containers that the police in the area said we have not been told why they're here nor where they're going nor what's inside how come the walmarts closed and talked about plumbing why did janet napolitano tell you that if you see something or hear something come see your store manager at walmart how come there's tunnels that are connecting walmart distribution centers and other distribution centers of other companies with underground railroad systems for cargo and trafficking of food and water distribution. Because you can't do it on the highway. They know that when the chaos, the post-apocalyptic hour comes, they couldn't get a truck down the highway. So they're going to transport it to the designated locations in every region by underground tunnel. Now, this has been well thought out. This is a beast system. It's coming into play. And... How does the New World Order get control? It's control out of chaos. And so as we go forward, it's time to really become strong in your faith as a Christian. Now, I'm not going to go on and on because I want to keep this short. But in case you haven't heard it already, in case all of this is new to you, uh, I'm really sorry because it must be shocking and not sound real. Um, but people have been warning about this for a very long time, and it's the ones that have been called fear mongers and conspiracy theorists. Um, so I can only speak for myself right now, and I've been trying to warn since, since September. Um, in my YouTube playlist, I have a tribulation folder, and um, it is about the truth, uh, showing what he's saying is true, and um, that they've been preparing for this for a long time. Um, and every time I go in that folder, there's more and more videos that are deleted. And that's sketchy. <sighs> anyway, um, you guys, this is not a joke. The Bible has been around our entire lives and has warned us about the end from the beginning. All of this is in there. This war that is coming right now the collapse of our money that people don't even realize is happening. The lights out, it's all in there. God gave us life. He gave us an instruction manual. He offered himself to help walk us through it should we go to him. And most of us spend most of our lives ignoring him. You're not going to be able to ignore this much longer. In the book of Genesis, it tells us exactly how long we have as mankind to get it right. We are at the end of that time now. And I've made videos about all of this. Um, go in the description box. I'll try to put as many links as I can to the things I think you need to know right now. What you need to know the most is that this is not a joke and it's time to get real. Um, and 
I will include the pastor's uh, video link, but something that he said in it, I was shocked. I was shocked because he said that, uh, you know, everyone has to be here for this. And that's just not true. There is a part of the church that's going to get to escape. And that's the faithful church who has decided to die to themselves now and live for him now. You have to confess your sins. You have to ask for forgiveness. And you have to stop living for the world. Stop living for yourself. Start living for the God that gave you life. And that died for you. He loves us. And I've done videos on all of this. And I will put them in, in the box, okay? But this is time for judgment. And I know it sounds crazy, but Satan is about to be thrown out of heaven for the last time and he gets locked here on earth with his demons to take over this is part of this these people that have been getting this stuff ready these fema camps they have demonic spirits you have to to be able to do what they've been doing and it all sounds crazy but most things that sound crazy i've found out are usually true God said in the last days that he would pour his spirit out on all flesh and people would prophesy just like they did way back in the day. And he allowed me to start doing that before I was even in the Bible, before I realized that was a thing. And then I was eventually, um, over a month later, led to this entire community where it's happening all over the world. And when he made himself real to me, I gave up everything to know how to hear him. And no matter what the devil spirits want to say and go and defame my name, there has not been one dream, vision, revelation that has not come to make sense. It doesn't always make sense at the time. And I even question, like, God, I don't understand. Like, this is what you said. And then if I wait and wait, boom, it makes sense. My very first revelation, I got pulled out of bed by the Holy Spirit and I started writing and I wrote three things. And they had to do with this time now, um, Jacob's trouble, okay? I didn't ever think about the tribulation. And it had to do with EMP, with a complete loss of power. And I didn't get any of it. But as time passed, it finally all made sense. In January, he gave me a dream where I was at a pool party and there was a volcano in the background and it was smoking. And I said to my son, it's time to go, we have to go. And I had one foot in the car and one foot out of the car and I was looking at this scene. Um, I saw the people in the pool, the volcano in the background. And um, I knew that this was it. Um, and I said, even if I warn them, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to change. I've already warned them and they just don't want to hear it. But it's time to go now. Warning time is over. Well, that was in January. Now this volcano, Kilauea, which I'm not sure what they're telling you on the mainstream media, but it is a nightmare over there. It keeps getting worse and worse. And it is waking up Yellowstone. Well, Yellowstone has been waking up. Yellowstone is about to blow. The super volcano... Um, anyway, so that has started to, um, really make a difference in the world. And, um, that signaled to me, warning time is over. And I wasn't sure if this was the volcano that he was talking about in my dream. And then last week he gave me a dream where this bowl, this one exactly, I dropped it into a body of water and when I pulled it out, it was like bubbling. And um, the bubbles, it was like acid, like the sound of acid was coming off of it. And it, it came out really smooth like this. And this bowl is glass, it was outside. <clears throat> um, 
And so the next day or the day after that, I was on YouTube and I saw a video that the lava reached the Pacific Ocean and that it's creating this stuff called lays, which is like some sort of fiberglass stuff. And so that made sense. And then um, it was before that I got invited to this party in real life and it's for June 23rd. And um, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's when all of this is going to happen. And I made videos on the volcano, on the dream, on all of this. Um, what else? Um, I've also had dreams about uh, the everything, everything, everything. And then I find out that it's real. And I've made videos about all of it along the way. There's about to be martial law. There's about to be war on our land. And martial law by the United Nations. And when he said that they can take supplies, they're going to be taken from people's houses because there's going to be no power. They said that the dark sky, whatever, was their last of their training. Well, we heard that they were having a three-day over the weekend training two weeks ago. That stuff that they spray in the sky, not only is it to cover planets and huge meteors that are about to hit, it is so they can communicate. The military calls it chaff. And chaff is spoken of in the Bible about the end times in numerous places. The Lord first revealed to me that there was one planet in the sky. <clears throat> and then after that, I had a dream that there were many planets in the sky. Then I found out there are many planets in the sky and they have a way of hiding it from us. Um, they eclipse our sun multiple times a day for hours at a time. But they have this thing called the sun simulator that when these planets go in front of our sun, it shines like it is our sun so that we don't notice. Well, that's about to stop. Um, there's a huge, huge asteroid about to hit the Earth. We are also about to be bombed by North Korea. Maybe. It could be us. Like I said, they have been planning this for a very, very long time. It's disgusting. The elites have it all planned out. Um, it's called Agenda 21. It's a depopulization program. They hide it under energy, um, whatever. It doesn't matter. That's not the point. The Lord gave me a dream about meteors. And then I found out that there's this huge, fiery-looking whirlwind tail in the sky that's full of trillions of meteors. There's going to be missiles on our land. Like, we're going to see them in the sky. Like, we're about to... People are about to experience something, like, they never thought possible in America. And the military is ready. Do not let anybody put anything in your hand or on your forehead. In the Bible, it's called the Mark of the Beast. And when the lights go out, when the power goes out, either from the asteroid, from the bomb, from the EMP, um, from hacking, whatever, there's so many things. From the volcano, the ash will make the electricity go out. Um, they're going to have to implement a system. And it says in the Bible that without this mark, you won't be able to buy or sell. So if you don't have the mark of their system, you're not going to be able to eat. But if you do get this mark, it is the mark of the beast. You will go to hell and pay for it forever. We are eternal beings. Our souls live forever. And it's either heaven or hell. Do not get the mark of the beast. Do not trust anyone. Stuff is about to get really bad and really weird really fast. There's going to be a period of darkness power goes out either from the asteroid, from the bomb, from the EMP, um, from hacking, whatever. There's so many things. From the volcano, the ash will make the electricity go out. Um, they're going to have to implement a system. 
And it says in the Bible that without this mark, you won't be able to buy or sell. So if you don't have the mark of their system, you're not going to be able to eat. But if you do get this mark, it is the mark of the beast. You will go to hell and pay for it forever. We are eternal beings. Our souls live forever. And it's either heaven or hell. Do not get the mark of the beast. Do not trust anyone. Stuff is about to get really bad and really weird really fast. There's going to be a period of darkness where the planet is eclipsing our sun. There's going to be a moment of impact. I don't know if it's the asteroid. I do believe it's the asteroid. Because the way that it talks in Revelation 12 about the flood coming after the woman. Um, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know, what our our timeline Bible stuff doesn't matter right now. Whose opinion is this, that, the other thing. The truth is it's happening. And I'm going to show you pictures. Um, and then you can go on my tribulation playlist and see it all. Um, there is a, a brother who is just incredible. Who has a five hour long video saying uh, how Pentecost is actually um, May 27th. And that matters. The Lord gave me many, many, many dreams and revelations that all point to Easter and Passover and Israel's celebration, their 70th anniversary celebration that they just had twice. And as these things passed, I didn't understand. And then I found out there's an Easter and Passover season. And I can't make it up. It's, it's on the internet. Look it up yourself. I'm not trying to make my clues work, okay? And I'm not backing down from them. I'm not erasing stuff. I had to erase one thing, but that's because, like, people put my, my family on blast. They're going to regret that real soon. But I haven't run from this, and it's because I am positive. And so when those dates passed, I, I said, you know what, I, I don't understand, but I know what he said. So it, the Easter and, and Passover season end on Pentecost. Pentecost is when the church was born, when we received the Holy Spirit <clears throat> after Jesus ascended to heaven. And so what better time to take away the Holy Spirit, because in Genesis it says, God said, my spirit shall not dwell with man forever, for he is only flesh, yet his years shall be 120. His days shall be 120 years. 120 jubilees since the first man, Adam, is 2017-2018. God does his years spring to spring. And so time is up. And this is, you know, God loved us. And he gave us chance after chance after chance after chance after warning after warning to run to him. So that he can love you. He loves us. And he wants us to go to him so that he can take care of us. But we've been so selfish. And caught up in the world. But the world is the devil. Like I said, I'm going to include videos in the description box. If Sunday is Pentecost. That's a big deal. That's two days away. The full moon is on Tuesday. That matters. I was going to um, make a follow-up video, okay? Um, because this just shocked me. And I was already planning on making a video about these things. But I don't want to include it all in here. Um, the time is coming. It's time to make a huge decision for yourself and your family. Jesus is the only way. At the moment of impact of this asteroid or the pull flip or whatever happens, the bombs, millions of people 
are going to wake up in hell. It will be too late to make a decision. The moment that this happens, it's too late. Right now, you still have time. Fall on your knees. Apologize to Jesus for ignoring him your entire life, the life that he gave you. Cry out to him. Confess your sins. Ask for forgiveness. And then turn to him with your heart. Say, Lord, I'm yours. What do you want me to do now? Guide me. Lead me. Seek him at every moment of the day. Ask him to make himself real to you. Seek him while he can be found. Because soon, demons are going to be possessing people. There's going to be cannibalism. I mean, it, 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 I, I don't know what to say now. Because I've been, I've been saying it and doing everything I could to prove it for the past, like, ten months. And, um... I don't know what else to say. The warning time is almost over. And if it's Sunday, if it's Tuesday, if it's a week from now, it's still all happening right now. This is real. Please, give your life to Jesus. Because if you're still alive, after the moment of impact, it's going to be hell on earth. And that will be your very last chance. And you cannot take the mark of the beast or worship its image. There's going to be aliens. Stuff is going to get weird. I'm going to include some slides at the end. I'm going to make them go quickly. Um, because I don't want to add too much more time to this video. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not going to add them to this. Um, in the description box, the very first video I put will have everything you need to know about what's coming. The first two videos. The truth is scary. I've been called fear monger for so long. The truth is scary when you don't have Jesus. When you have God and you realize the devil has been lying to you this whole time and that you don't have to be subject to him, that you have the power of the living God, the creator of the universe inside of you, when you learn that you can stand up to the devil and tell him to sit down, you fear nothing. Because God says, if you trust me, you have nothing to fear. There's not a hair on your head that will be hurt. Think about whose side you want to be on right now. Jesus proved that he loved you. He died an awful death. That will be the third video I include, okay? I gotta cut it off here. But there's not one dream, vision, revelation that I have had that has not come to this point right now. No matter what the hater demon spirits have put out there. So learning from the past, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to me. I I don't put commercials. I, I'm not monetized. I don't get paid for clicks, okay? But with prophecy, sometimes there's follow-up. <laughs> and 75,000 people saw my freak out about, um, you know, the second uh, celebration that Israel had. And we're... No, the first one, I'm sorry. And when that didn't happen, people screamed false prophet. <laughs> but if you would have stuck around a little longer, not only did they have another celebration, it kept going after that. This is all a test. Please, do everything you can to pass it. Pray for discernment. Don't be quick to jump on the devil's train. So many people are going to regret their words very soon. And they 
we all are accountable for every idle word we speak. When you give your life to Jesus and you let him live in you, when you sin and you ask for forgiveness, he will be faithful and forgive you. But each new sin, you have to ask for forgiveness and he will be faithful and forgive you and he will forget about it like it never happened. It doesn't matter who you've been up until this moment. You can still be exactly who God wants you to be. But you have to decide now. Don't let anybody tell you you don't have to ask for forgiveness and change your heart. And please make sure you have a plan for sudden loss of communication and transportation. Um, imagine your kids being at school and you being at work. Everything goes dead and you don't have a plan. And you can't get in the car and go to them. People are going to be, it's going to be madness, pure chaos. So please have a plan.